Okay, this is the reconstructed stockade of Fort Vancouver. It was built by the Hudson. First door. So the natives would have brought in uh, wolf, oh, everything. otter, cats, and rats, uh, minks, uh, yep. uh, wolverines. But the, but the big one was. Yeah. Um, but they would uh, come and they trade it for the famous Hudson Bay blankets or yeah, cloth yeah. or. Yeah. All kinds of all kinds of fancy doodads and gee Yeah. As beads well as lots and lots of beads. Yeah. Okay, so in this room, uh is where the pelts would have been collected to get your beaver and your badger and bobcats and raccoons and you name it, deer. And uh they'd weigh out a ninety pounds of and make these basically cubes, 90 pound cubes of, uh, of fur. And then, of course, they could be stacked up and shipped back to England. And eventually, a lot of the beaver would end up being the uh, beaver felt top hat. Much nicer than any of my top hats, but what are you going to do? So I'm in the uh, the carpentry shop, and I would love to be to have to be able to play in in all this. It's a nice wood drying up above. And so here's an exterior shot of that warehouse. That's where the um, where the press was and all that and then they they would have had three more of these around and um and the store is way over in that building over there so so this when the, this was an operation right up until uh the treaty that set the border between uh, Washington and Canada and uh, they this actually was jointly occupied by British and Americans um, waiting for that to happen and when they decided to put the border where it is now um, the Hudson Bay Company relocated up into uh, Canada and of course uh, right about the same time, a little bit after, um, Prince Albert started wearing a silk top hat and that became the fashion for all the hoi polloi. And the, uh, so the beaver felt top hats fell out of fashion and basically that was the end of the, the fur industry. So uh, when Fort Vancouver was established 1829 there was basically just the palisade around uh, Indians were all friendly so they didn't really worry about any kind of defense um, however in the 1840s Americans started to flood in yeah uh, into the area and what the heck is that over there oh, apparently it's an airplane about to take off on the other side of the stockade anyway in uh, 1840s Americans flooding in uh, made the British a little bit nervous and the uh, governor of the Hudson Bay Company and there it goes again. Hi, but that'll disrupt your, <laughs> your talk. Uh, anyway, uh, 1840s, he said the undisciplined, ungoverned Americans uh, could storm the fort if uh, they became desperate for supplies. So they built this the tower here on the corner. Um, the other reason is, is that a British ship came in and fired a cannon uh, to uh, salute the fort and they, didn't have, they were embarrassed because they didn't have anything to fire back. So uh, they did use they did use a three pound cannon to salute incoming uh, uh, ships. Nice big safe here in the counting house where basically where all the books were kept and all right well kids have got here so 
Well, that's going to end my tour of Fort Vancouver. I pretty much saw uh, most things. I'd like to get over into the big White House, but we'll uh, see if I can sneak through. Otherwise, see you later, YouTube.